चलो तो तो गुड हॉनी बियर सेवन फिफ्टीन ए एम जून नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड एज यू कैन सी दी बीज आर एक्टिवली वर्किंग दी ऑरेंज ब्लॉसम दे जस्ट लुकिंग ऑल ओवर दी प्लेस फाइन दी ऑरेंज फ्लॉवर्स दिस मॉर्निंग वी हैव सम ऑरेंज हेयर विच इज coming up very nicely and the bees are working the blossoms here this morning there doesn't have many bees working it but the ones that are working they doing a good job what she doing is she looking for nectar and a bit of pollen as well trying not to miss any flower and there are also some smaller smaller type bees doing the same thing you see on that flower that she was just on there there's a little little tiny looking bee I'm not seeing any pollen on her legs. So that means she going after the nectar. Yeah man, there she is. You see that there's a little bee right there. With pollen on his leg. I don't know where that little bee going. It looks like a a midget bee. so small all right it, it seems like these flowers now sort of put out the, the nectar so more and more bees are coming at it Okay, let me let me go across and check some other tree on this on the other side. What I'm seeing here now is a lot of activity. Lots of lots of movement in the air. I don't know if you could see it. So they're now beginning to get active. Yeah man. All right, let me just go across here. Oh, what are you going this morning? All right, now they're looking good. All these Portugal trees, orange trees, mandarin grapefruit everybody who put in out their flowers once it open up the bees going for it man that look at the ground with all these little petals fall off i hear them across here you know but it look like they quite up on the top Yeah man look them they what Oh yes 
beautiful Friday morning here in the beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. I didn't even check the, the weather today, but I could see bees all through there. Zipping in and out, having a good, having a good time there. I don't know if you could see them. Working hard. See them there? Yeah, man. This tree is what we call laden with flowers and so too now as the sunshine begin to come up even more you get more flowers opening up and the bees are just having a ball right there look how many bees it have on that branch right there let me see if I can zoom in a little bit Yes, 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 I love it. So the next portion of corn is coming up really good. And we have this section of corn here. And the bees have already gone through and taken out all the pollen from the corn. I'm not seeing any bees here. They move over now to the orange. And the orange giving them a lot of nectar. So they, they are well fed. They have enough stores that will carry them through. I'm seeing it have a few bees here still. Checking and checking and checking. Yeah, man. So these these colonies here, um, I would I would say for over the years they're doing well. So the reason I plant the corn there is to give them that little extra edge, so that they'll be able to continue. I haven't opened up any of these colonies since the last extraction, except for um, when I went in there and prepare them for this rainy season so right now I wouldn't need to open them up here again not until the middle of August if I happen to go in I will before that I will do a short little video and shoot it off to you all but right now this is their time to make sure that everything on the inside is as it's supposed to be. I'm just looking at them. I'll have to do some cleanup operations here. You see how the grass coming up. And I've already planted the new set of corn right there. So I'll clean up this grass, clean up over there. Get that other set, a piece of earth there, get it ready for planting corn next month. It's an ongoing thing, you know. And you can't stop. Every little edge helps. Yes, man. So, as per usual, I think I will have to go and do something else this morning. All right. So, hold on. We'll see what else we can we can do for these bees here today. Everybody looking good, man. So, I have a nice ripe... Um, this is, I can't even get it, man. A lot of comeback. This is a Portugal. Mandarin. 
Some of you might know it as a mandarin. And I could really have that after I take my breakfast this morning. So I'll come back for it. So there you go. This is the last one, it looked like. I'm seeing, oh no, it have a couple of them on the tree still. But I'll be able to enjoy this one until the tree put out some more. All these that are on the ground here, I would usually come, come around with a container and pick them up and um, take out the skin because I need to, to use the skin to put in the smoker to burn. It makes a very nice fragrance when it's burning in the air. Smell a nice fragrance. It seems to soothe the bees keep them a little calm so I don't get so many stings you see like this one it's already the inside already decayed so I could just put it one side and when it dry I could just put it in the smoker I remember I also put cashew seed the cashew seed helps a lot with well this is my experience eh? with uh, the varroa the varroa destructor, you know, you just have to find all kind of ways to keep that under control, you know. Yeah, man. I don't know why there's a washboard in quite in the back here on the side. But that is what they choose to do. Mm, they smell me, they smell me, you see how they, they don't like that smell. They don't like human smell at all. Even if you, you bathe and you brush your teeth and everything and you come, once they get that smell, they, they, they behave like that. And they, they fly at you too, you know, and they sting you. You, know. you see, you see, I disturbed them, whatever they was doing. Okay, girls, but you see those girls, they are the young bees, so they don't know my nantics. So, they wouldn't come and sting me. So, if it was the older bees, yeah, the older bees die off already. So, these young bees here, they yet to learn and get accustomed to this human smell. You see, the same, same behavior here, watch. What also triggers them off too is the the song that the, the, the phone camera makes while filming. Something that we don't hear, but the bees could hear it. Or they could sense it because bees don't have no ears, so they could sense that. All right, so moving right along. So today is another day in which I will be doing bee venom therapy on myself. So all the onlookers who wish to, to do bee venom therapy, you can get your little seppi from me. You'll be able to do the therapy on yourself. It's easily done. I'll have to find a willing helper to help me to put on the bee venom. All right, somebody who I can pass that knowledge on to, who, who is showing some sort of interest, I'm trying to mark our bee here. You know. All right, all right, I go in. You see, the bee trying to sting me. All right, all right, all right, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Okay. So the first thing the bees will do, they will buzz around you to asking, asking you gently to move away from their territory. If you don't, well, they will bounce you. And if that doesn't work, 
Well, what they will do next is they will bite you. So a bee don't just come and sting you just so. They give you all these kind of warning. And when after it bite you, you, you decide well you still want to be there. But the next thing, the next thing they will do is they will give you a warning sting. Bees can give you a warning sting without losing the stinger. So they'll give you a warning sting. And if that doesn't work, well, you know, they will sacrifice their life and give you the final sting. Oh. And in some cases, the bees, although they give you a final sting, will try to wiggle their way out to save their life by trying to get that stinger out without, as you would have seen in a video previously, where the bees pull, pull, pull until the whole internal organs came out, so that be dead because of losing their internal organs and their stinger. So, I like watching these bees, you know. And you know, I haven't seen any of the Aphis, Malif uh, Aphis trinitatus, which is a stingless bee. They produce a lot of um, pollen and they have um, the, the honey they produce is placed in a rounded kind of ball, like a, a golf ball. And the honey is used for people who have cataracts. It has been proven to be effective in the reducing of the cataracts. Now, there's a little bee I was talking about. As you can see, get right there on that flower there. A tiny little bee doing its thing. I don't know what is the name of that little bee, but here and there you can find them. It's a small little bee, but the the stingless honeybee that I'm talking about, I haven't seen it for a little while. So some of these bees here are even competing with one another for the nectar source. Yeah, man. So as you can see, folks, we have bees, bees everywhere. All right, so let's get inside, man. Uh, I need to get some some sustenance. I have to follow my, my girls here. They're getting their sustenance. They're getting their nectar. So I need to go and get some of my nectar as well. We have all sorts of insects here this morning, trying to get a little mussel. They even have this little bug there. I don't know if you can see it flying in the air. It buzzing around. It must be taking its cue from the bees. Yeah, man. Okay, so the focus today is the orange blossom. Orange blossom nectar. Look a little, look a little black bee there. Where you going? Sometimes these black bees are pests, you know, because when the orange fruit is here, they would usually go and bore a little tiny hole and it caused the orange to, to spoil. 
So it becomes a pest in that sense. They don't produce any honey. Uh, they, they, I guess they will be helpful in terms of pollination, but basically it's a pest. Look at the little bee there. It's another, it's another variety of bee compared to the ones I showed you just now. Game on. So we observing what's going on. And the orange blossom is really nice. And maybe I will get some orange flavored honey. I don't know. Years gone by I used to actually go out and put it into orange orchards. Do migratory beekeeping, put it in the orange orchard. And I will get a very nice uh, orange, orange honey, orange nectar honey, however you want to call it. But uh, that estate is no longer available. Okay, so TTFN, catch you in the next one. Bye for now. This is Hans T. Yaman signing off. My belly, my belly growling, man. I have to go and put something in it. All right, later. The good honey.